So this video is um, just a short little one. Um, it, it's gonna become the first part in hopefully a series um, if I end up having an, enough time to do the project. Um, but yesterday I got some new bits in the mail that I won on eBay. We have a 4x5 large format double dark slide sheet film holder and a box of Ilford FP4 Plus with about 10 or 15 sheets left in it. Um, I'm not going to open this up obviously because it needs to be opened in darkness to load into this. Um, what my plan for this um, is to basically build a, a, uh, a foam core pinhole camera. Um, I, I've seen some pretty impressive results with, uh, with foam core 4x5 pinhole cameras. Um, and it's the cheapest way to get me up and running with large format until I can find a good deal on a proper large format camera. Um, but what I'm going to do, uh, just as these have come in, because um, I mean the biggest problem with any film really um, is dust, but especially so with the larger formats of film, um, purely because there's a lot more image space and a lot more chance to get it covered in dust. So. I have these sandwich bags, resealable sandwich bags, and I'm going to pop the dark slide holder inside there to keep dust off it. Um, and when I actually build, do build the camera and go out with it, and it's loaded, it will stay inside there whenever it's not in the back of the camera, um, just to help prevent dust to get in either onto the dark slides or onto the film. Because if you know, if I open this up and there's dust all around here or on the dark slide it's going to get brushed off by the light trap and then it's going to end up on the film um, and any dust on the film is going to stop light getting to the film and it's not going to expose properly um, plus when it comes time to develop it's going to weld itself to the film uh, which is going to cause problems with scanning and printing um, I don't have a large format enlarger at the moment um, this, this, this is actually the base for my enlarger that all this is on um, this is a Durst M601 and it does 35mm and 120 up to 6x6 uh, but no large format so I will be um, doing contact prints contact prints, um, and I will be scanning it on the Epson Perfection V700 to put online and you'll see some of those on the site uh, I'm also going to put the film itself in a bag just to help prevent dust building up on the box so that when I open it up in the dark, in the uh, changing bag or in the dark room, I uh, I reduce the risk of getting dust on the film itself while I'm loading it. Um, so they'll both basically live in there now. Um, as I end up getting more dark slides um, and a proper large format camera, each of them um, will be individually packaged in bags. Um, you know, there are some photographers who will keep all of them in one bag. Um, but every time you open the bag to take one out or put one in, um, you, you run the risk of getting dust and other crap in there, especially if you're out on a windy day. Um, so they'll all be individually packaged up like that to protect them. Um, there was something else I was going to mention and I've forgotten what it was now. It'll come back to me and I'll, I'll make a note to mention it in the next video. Um, but that's it for now. Um, I'll uh, Once I've figured out my exact plan of attack um, with this camera I'll because uh, I've, I've got loads and loads of black foam core here sitting doing nothing um, once I've figured out me, me plan and, and a design I'll uh, I'll start putting videos together on the construction of it um, but I've no idea when that's gonna be uh, so I will keep you posted bye guys